Now, there's been one question asked more than anything else about the Apple Watch Ultra. Which band should I get? And given I've been out, swim, bike, run, hiking, doing epic adventures with these different straps or bands, I figured I got some thoughts on it I can probably share. And now more than just doing workouts with all these straps, I've also used them for daily usage as well as slept with every single one of these, which I know sounds kind of wrong, but in the context of the Apple Watch Ultra, it is important given the new wrist-based temperature tracking as well as uh, the optical sensor on the back for increased sleep stage and phase detection, you want a strap or a band that actually fits well. So the first thing to know is there's only one type of Apple Watch Ultra like unit itself. This one right here, meaning there's only one unit case style, uh, and then the strap style that you choose is included within the Apple Watch Ultra purchase. Uh, and there's basically three core styles. The first style you have is the Alpine Loop. That's when it has all these little loop uh, pieces on the outside edge, and then basically this clasp just comes back through it and loops into one of the individual uh, loops like that, and you slide your wrist on, well you slide it on first, and then you tighten it up. So this is the Alpine Loop, comes in three different colors, we'll get to that in a second. Then there is the ocean band. This one right here, it's not technically a loop, it's just a band. Uh, this, you can see, it's a silicone-y type material, uh, and it's designed more for water sports, diving, et cetera. But you can use it like a normal strap. Don't, don't think you have to like dive with this strap or swim with this strap. Uh, it's just one that isn't a fabric-y material. And then there's a trail loop. Uh, and this trail loop right here is more of a just straight up fabric, kind of thin, minimalist look to it. For each of these straps are different colors as well as different sizes. So let's just start right up with the Alpine loop. Uh, this is probably the one that you're gonna see most often out there. Uh, and the way you put on all these straps or bands is there's this little button right there. First, I'll take it off for you so you can see that. Uh, and so this is, when it comes in the box, when you get it in the box, you'll basically have it like this and this will be sitting here. Uh, each one of the straps has their own dedicated box. So if you look at the Apple Watch Ultra box that you get, this big one right there, uh, inside of it includes one of these different uh, strap kind of options, if you will. That's the way Apple's done most of the strap stuff for years. You can see right now here, it shows this is the large um, strap of the orange Alpine loop, and then this was inside. And in fact, if you open up this little thing, it tells you which way uh, the straps will be positioned. Uh, so if we look right here, here is the watch, here is the unhooky part, so we'll do that like that. Uh, and you can see this should go like this and in. So we'll just simply slide it in just like that, super easy. The other side right there. And then we're all set with the instructions. Um, all set with the instructions. And then basically take this and you pull it back around and choose a loop that you want. So first I will put it on my wrist. There we go. And now this, that was way too much. There we go. Slide it on my wrist. Tightened up like this and then pull it around. And you'll see there are different loops. You can kind of count them off, like one, two, three. For daily use, I find putting it in slot number three works well for my wrist size. My wrist size, by the way, is right there in the corner, down the bottom, so you can see that right now, or the top, or something like that. Uh, and then I'll show you my wife's wrist size when we get to that in a second. Uh, and then I find for workout usage, because you want it a little more snug for workout, this second one right here is better for me. Of course, this will vary for your particular wrist size, but in general, if you want more accurate optical heart rate, you want a snug fit, so you don't want the watch to bounce around raw. You see it's nice and snug there. It moves with my skin, it stays put, basically, versus if I had it like down here or something like that, and I've seen some people wear it like this loose, that'd be horrible for workout usage. That'd be really, really inaccurate. You have bad data. Don't, don't do that. So just uh, have it nice and snug. It doesn't have to be like crazy tight, but there you go. Anyways, this is the strap that I've worn the most over the last while, uh, and it's the one that I think looks visually the most appealing. It's the one I wore for my 14-hour trek, and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, now, a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, number one is that because it is fabric, it will go ahead and absorb moisture. Uh, so that means while you're sweating, it's going to absorb that, and so you want to shower afterwards so it doesn't stink down the road. Uh, and also, that means after you shower, uh, it'll basically leave wet marks on your clothing if you rest your arm down on your jeans. Uh, you can see this here with the trail loop, where basically I just rested on my jeans for no more than 15 seconds, and my jeans absorbed that. And this, of course, is true of all fabric bands that you might get wet uh, or might use in sports. This, for example, being the Garmin Enduro, uh, the same sort of style. Chorus has one as well for their watches, uh, and it's just a fact of life. The same is true for the Whoop uh, band right there. Same thing, right? You just, you kind of get used to it, just something to be aware of. And now one last thought before we move on to the next one. If you saw my earlier, my very first video about the Apple Watch Ultra where I shot it at Apple's keynote after they did the keynote in the hands-on area, I said that while I love this strap, I found it a pain in the butt to put on and off. Uh, and the reason for that is that basically I had the wrong size strap on the demo table for my wrist. So it was too small of a strap, so it was really tough to get on and off. Um, also, I was doing a bunch of different watches, and so you're constantly taking different watches on and off. Uh, in reality, with 
basically 48 hour battery life that I'm getting on the Ultra. I'm doing it once every two days, it's no big deal. And with the correct sizing strap, this is large again for my wrist size, uh, it's super easy to go ahead and take off. Again, unhook that there, slide it out, it comes out pretty straightforward. Here's a quick video of my wife's wrist. Uh, in this case, this band is simply just too big for her wrist. It's as simple as that. So obviously it doesn't work at all. Um, I don't have a small band though for her to put on there. So that is what it is. And when it comes to sizing for the Alpine Loop, there are three sizing options. There's a small for 130 to 160 millimeter wrist, a medium for 145 to 190 millimeter wrist, or a large for 165 to 210 millimeter wrists. And there are three colors, orange, white, and green. Okay, and a quick note, if you are finding this video useful in any way, shape, or form, if you can just give it a quick like at the bottom, it really does help with this video in the channel quite a bit. So with that, let's go on to the next one, which is the trail loop. Again, this is, you can see right there, it says medium and large. Really hard to see, I know, sorry. Uh, and you can wear it both ways. I'm sure there's a proper direction to wear it. Uh, but I'm just gonna do it this way for right now. And then find this slot down there. There we go, it's nice and tight. And then I just simply slide over my wrist. There we go, and then boom. Done. Simple as that. You'll notice it has four pieces of Velcro. One, two, three, four. Uh, and it's really easy to adjust exactly where you want it. So if you're looking at it from like an accuracy standpoint, you know, you want things a little bit more snug when you're running, like we talked about earlier on, or any sort of workout activity. And but it's really easy to kind of adjust a little bit less snug for day-to-day -day use if you wanted to. Uh, again, you don't want things bouncing around because then you're not going to have accurate data for the rest of your day either. I like this strap the most in terms of wearability. Uh, it's the most comfortable to sleep with. The, the Alpine Loop is great to sleep with as well, by the way, but it's also the lightest strap as well. So if that's something that matters to you, it's uh, on the screen right now, all the different weights as I weigh them right here. Uh, now, keep in mind, in terms of workout usage, I have no problems with this, like running or cycling or even uh, swimming the pool and even open water swimming. I'm pretty confident with this, uh, but I would not use it in two specific scenarios. Uh, number one, I would not use it surfing. I think it's viable to get ripped off on a strong wave and just pulled out, you know, like this and boom and off it goes. I also probably would not use it in a mass start triathlon. Uh, so if you've done mass start triathlons, you know that it can be pretty like rowdy, especially in the first couple hundred meters. Uh, and there have been many watches watches, not necessarily obviously ultra watches because just announced, but many watches over the years that get uh, knocked off in those first couple hundred meters. And then looking at my wife's wrist again, here is the medium large band on there. You can see she could make it work, but it's just a touch bit too big. It doesn't look like stylish wise all that great. And uh, so instead we switched to the smaller band option that I had uh, and that one fits her just perfectly. Now when it comes to sizing on the tri loop, there are two sizes. There is a small size fitting 130 through 180 millimeter wrists and the medium and large size fitting 145 through 200 millimeter wrists. In my case, I was using the medium large one it fit great plenty of adjustability i put the medium large on my wife's wrist and you can see like it technically fits but it just doesn't look all that stylish uh, just a bit too long for her uh, so i then switched to a small size one and that was like spot on perfect for her wrist and gave her a bit more adjustability there are also three colors they are yellow beige black gray with this orange accent uh, and then blue gray so with that, let's talk about a watery friendly band option, which is the ocean band. Uh, so pop this out, there we go. And we got this piece there, Oops, sorry. Uh, so put the bottom piece in first, there we go, snaps in place. I'm not starting a workout, I know you want me to. Uh, and then the top piece right here. And then there's this little piece. So I'm gonna take this out first to show you what this is. When you get it out of the box the first time, you'll have basically three pieces, one, two, three. And you'd be like, what the heck do I do with this little thing? And it shows you with instructions, but essentially this is gonna be like your secondary class. In my case, for my fit, it works best five holes down. So one, two, three, four, five. You expand it out and then you slide it in this hole. There we go. Expand it over here and make sure my same hole. Perfect, pop it in, good to go. Uh, and you, you'll want to adjust this based on a little bit of the fit for you, so you gotta plan play around with it. You just simply slide it through like this. Uh, and again, depending on whether I'm doing workout or daily use, I may adjust this uh, fit right there. So then I can slide this part through this back portion, back the loop there. And you can see it basically just barely fits in there. Uh, six probably better for a little bit looser fit though. That way I could have a little more uh, of this strap kind of sliding through. But there we go, it works pretty well. I went swimming with this yesterday, open water swimming, no problems at all. The water, as you can see right here, basically just runs right off this band, so it doesn't really stick on the band. Now when it comes to sizing for the ocean band, there is one size fits all, 130 through 200 millimeters. However, there's also an extender that you can buy for it that adds an extra 50 millimeters for an extra 50 bucks. You're paying 
one dollar per millimeter, which is kind of fun to think about it that way. And of course, the extension can also be used for things like over uh, wetsuits and dry suits. Probably wouldn't use this too much diving wise with a dry suit that kind of falls outside the recreational side of it. But you know, you can do what you got to do. Uh, there are three colors. There's banana yellow here, like a pale banana yellow. It's not like super vibrant, but it's just a it's yellow. Um, there is white and then there is blue. As you saw on my wrist, it fits perfectly fine. And then here is my wife's wrist as well. Uh, and it also actually fits reasonably fine. I think it looks maybe a touch bit big for her, uh, but she's actually preferred that one over all the straps that she tried. Uh, that's the one that she liked because she doesn't really want the wet band thing afterwards, messing up her clothes and whatnot. Uh, so that'd be her preference. Uh, now keep in mind also that all the Ultra Bands are compatible with Apple Watch 44 and 45 millimeter units. Uh, so that is, for example, this one right here. This is an Apple Watch SE uh, second gen 44 millimeter. Uh, I can take off this strap right here for fun and we'll just do a good old swap right here. And you can see, boom, I've just turned my SE into an Ultra Dive Watch and I've turned my Ultra into a SE red watch. So there you go. As simple as that. And then just to be clear, you can use all existing Apple Watch 42, 44, and 45 millimeter bands on the Ultra. So I obviously just showed that right here with this uh, 44 one, but uh, other 42 ones work as well, both Apple and third-party ones. Okay, then finally, what's my preference? Well, I think from an aesthetic standpoint, uh, my preference is the orange traffic cone uh, Alpine Loop. From a wearability standpoint though, it is this uh, black with the orange accent trail loop. I just like the, the feel that one the best. Uh, my wife's preference is the ocean band. Um, she did not declare whether or not yellow, white, or blue was her preference, uh, but she likes to feel that one the best. So there you go. If you found this useful, go ahead and whack that like button at the bottom there, or hit subscribe for plenty more sports technology goodness. This whole like craziness uh, of the last couple weeks, it's gonna keep on going. Stay tuned. Have a good one.